Hi, my name is Terry from Sweet Pea Papers and Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is video four in our spring series, spring fairy series. <laughs> and this is a Sweet Pea Papers project, not a design team project. We're using the Victoria Design Kit Spring Fairies. Of course, you can use, you know, whichever kit you want. It works with anything. Um, if you're doing this about the same time, you might want to do something spring themed. And, um, this is going to be page two. I know that sounds crazy that we're on video four, but we're only on page two. However, we spent two and a half videos building a great big um, envelope stack that we're going to put on the cover of the book, which is going to be interesting because it's going to be a hardcover book. So now we're on page two. We should be able to get page two, five, and six done. Three and four are coffee dyed pages, so I'll take care of those. They're, you know, they're just clusters or whatever. So this is our paper, as exciting as it is, and we're just going to build um, stacked pockets that are a pocket. So the first thing we want to do is normally you can just build stacked pockets on top of each other, um, but I want to make a pocket that goes in and out. So I don't want to take a chance on anything getting caught, you know, like where the uh, pockets overlap. So we're going to build them on a backing paper. So let's put this paper all the way up, up and down. So that's going to be the, the correct height. And then we want to make it the width of the paper minus just enough for a card to stick out move it down a little bit so we can see okay so let's cut it right here we want it to go right to the edge make a little mark here well it won't matter because we're just going to put this up against the edge and I've got some scrap papers what little bit we have um, to make the pockets Now, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if we should round these two front pockets because we're not going to cover the flowers. And I wonder if what that would look like instead of it just being square. Let's do that. Why not? because our um, card is going to be rounded that sticks out. I don't have a big enough piece of scrap paper to make a card yet. I haven't made the um, cards or put the glossy, uh, the glaze on these yet. Um, I don't have enough um, scrap paper, scrap pages, you know, to make cards, um, even after doing the envelope stack. So, I'm going to have to start looking through the ephemera, seeing if we've got the right size cards. And then also um, uh, start cutting cards. And uh, the thing is, we've got so many pages to do. Well, I'm going to have to print anyway, believe it or not. So... Um, I might as well just go ahead and make the cards. We're using Mode Lawn for our ink on the main everything except for the fairies and such. When we ink them, they're going to be um, inked in Victorian velvet. Alright, so we're going to build our pockets on this. And we're going to leave these flowers showing. I guess I can erase this. Okay. Yep, my watch is sliding around. I got a new watch for you guys to look at. Um, so I don't want this to be the bottom pocket. So I'm going to turn it around and make it the middle pocket. 
and then yeah let's make this the top pocket remember this is going to be a pocket up here this is a pocket here you know you know if we were sneaky we could go ahead and make this a pocket too oh let's <laughs> so let's um let's get these sorted out looks about right. actually a little bit taller so this one up I wonder if we should just add one more no it would have to be this and that just makes my eyes bleed so let's not I don't have anything else wide enough okay so we'll just make them big okay so I'll put this one here We'll put this one here. Okay, so now let's make a mark where we want each one to go. And then we'll put it just above it. And then we won't see the mark. Okay, then we want to make a mark how wide we want them. So we want to cut this one here. And we want to cut this one here. And you want to cut this one here. You like how I did that? Okay, so then we're going to cut the width. to see on that paper. Okay. They're almost rectangles. Some of them. I mean, um, squares. Okay, now we should be able to stack these up and they should all be the same. Not necessarily the same height. This one's a little bit taller, which is fine because it's going on the top. Then we're going to round the top corners on each of these. So now we're going to have to glue these together without, no, now we have to ink them all. The most exciting part of crafting along with Terry. did it, didn't I? <laughs> oh, I don't have to ink the bottom one. Only on the bottom um, piece, which is this one. I think these are going to be too big. Yep, they are. I thought it would be kind of fun to use those round um, or the circles as, as uh, cards. I may just cut out a couple circles or make those circles smaller. No, I'll just cut out a couple. All right, and then we're going to put ephemera and stuff on this 
um, but not right now. I'm going to try to get these done. Okay, so we're going to put this one here. We just want to make sure I should have marked the paper. We put this one here. And then we've got our mark right here for this one. I just want to make sure I can glue. Okay, so I'm going to put glue on either side from the mark down. That way we don't have to glue it to the, um, I got stuff falling everywhere. Some of my stuff got moved and it's making me crazy. I don't like having my stuff touched and I don't like it being moved around, which is the same thing. I decided to make more room, which is all well and good, except now I've got more room to reach which doesn't really help me. Okay, so we're going to glue this on here. All right, we're going to glue this on here. And then we're going to glue this on here. What did I do? Did I cut the mark off? All right, well... Oh, because this one was supposed to go in the middle. And that's why there's a mark on it. Okay, so let's put this one on here. Good thing I hadn't erased that mark yet. And let me get them straight. Yeah, this is the same as that. So then we want to put glue here. I meant to fill my glue. It's a little crooked over there. I'm going to erase those marks. I, I forgot that we were going to um, round the corners so that we, we would end up seeing the marks. Make sure you don't put glue on top of the marks or you won't be able to erase them. Well, you could use a glue eraser. Okay, and now let's put these on here. as a pocket. I wonder if we should do it as a tuck. We should do it as a tuck. So then we're going to glue this edge and the bottom edge. Then we'll need two big writing cards. I like this idea much better. Yeah, because otherwise it would have only been whatever it was, would have only been that wide, and now we can make something this wide. 
Okay, so then I'm going to glaze the flowers as soon as we put this on here. And we're going to put it on as a pocket. So we're going to need to glue the three sides with the rounded side not being glued. Let's see if we can get this glue down here into the top of the bottle. Well, goodness sakes. Everything is inked. And we'll glue this on as a pocket. Very nice. I almost wish we'd used a different backing paper now, but oh well. Okay. All right, so we're just going to um, glaze the flowers, put something here. I wonder about lace, because mm -mm, we rounded the pocket tops. So I'll put something here, probably a word with some eyelash trim and a fairy. Let's see. Oh, we've got these borders. I don't like that one. Don't like that one. I don't think, um, yeah, we'll use this on one of the coffee dyed pages. Okay, so vetoed those. I'm not sure I'm going to use them at all, actually. I may use something else that I have. Let's see. Is there any fairies that are sitting down? Oh, I like that one. And then maybe this butterfly. You know what? Okay, so anyway, you get the idea. And then um, the lace around across the bottom. And then um, like on the cover of the uh, book or on the front of our um, envelope stack. And then um, a word and then with the eyelash trim underneath so that the, the trim hangs down. The reason they call it eyelash trim is it's got a string and then the feathery part hangs down and it looks like an eyelash. Okay, so let me put these two. I'm going to look through my um, glossy accented butterflies. But for right now, let's just... Take her and paper clip her right there. Okay? Okay. So we want to... Uh -oh. So we want to write um, 
page two on the back of this because we need to glaze it before we put it in the book. So we've got one and two and then three and four. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Yeah, three and four of the coffee dyed papers. So page five is just that file folder. So we're just going to add a pocket to it right here. Let's see if this will fit. Of course not. Yeah, we'll put it on as a tuck. What about the other pockets? I want to use this some... Yeah, I don't want to use that there. I want to use it on an outside page. Remember, these are all eaten up by my scan and cut, so we're going to have to make them into um, flat pockets, but see, it blends in too much. These are dark. This one's, well, I could turn it this way. No, I still like the other one, the other long one the best. versus just making one. So we'll put it right here. Did I ink it? Looks like I did. If I can't tell, then I probably didn't ink it quite enough. Then of course I'm going to have to glaze them. Goodness. Oh, I soaked my brush and then rinsed it out and all, all of the glaze came out. All of it. It's just as soft as the day it was born. Just like a little baby's bottom soft. <laughs> so now we're just going to glue this side. I wonder if we should glue the bottom too. No, because we're going to put it in the middle. Yeah, we're going to zoom right through this. We're going to have enough time to do page 7, which I don't have ready yet. You know what I mean? I don't even know what I'm going to do on page 7. 7 and 8 are the centers. So what I'll do is I'll stop the video and I'll get to glossing and card making and whatever. I don't want to get too far ahead. I'll never get done. Um... Yeah, I like that. I wonder if that's... Mm -hmm. We could actually... All those little flowers for springtime. Really no way to write on that, is there? That's white. Well, guess who has to make a card? Oh wait. Yeah, there's no way to really write on these either, but them right there. I don't want them to get glued in. All right. I don't know about that. Kind of makes my eyes hurt a little bit. I 
I think I'm going to end up making some circles, just making some out of um, something that's uh, writable on the back. You know, it isn't two patterns. Okay. Page six is easy. We're going to take, gosh, I don't like working with this thin acetate. After this, I'll only have one more page of this nice heavy-duty acetate left over and a few scraps. Get these paper clipped together so I don't lose anybody. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. None of these are long enough. And these are all the hard ones. Just paper clip them all together. We're going to put a belly band on. better be careful one of these days pulling that cap off with my teeth I'm gonna pull one of my front enamels right off or what do you want to call them what do they call them I used to call them a cap but I guess they don't call it that anymore oh we want it to be an inch wide so let's is this is this nice an inch Yes, you know, there's another lace that works better for this. Let me see where it is. What would happen if we used this? Like lace with some of this on top. Oh, I like that idea. I don't know where the end starts on this, but that's what we'll do. Let me get that other lace. I'm using white lace instead of cream, and there's a lot of white in here, and or you know, coffee dyed or tea dyed, and so um, if I don't quit scratching, then it's never going to go away. Um, so let me go down here. Should be about an inch. A bunch of scraps, little scraps, a little bit unusable scraps in the way. right at an inch. Okay, so let's put our paper clip or let's paper clip this together. Wow, that's a lot of little pieces and a lot of fuzzies stuck to it all. Big crash bang mess going on back here. <laughs> Ignore the man behind the curtain. <laughs> okay. Now let's mark how long we want it. Okay. 
Oh, I wish we would be able to see that flower. Yeah, we can do it there. remember to pick that little piece up off the floor. I don't want Oz to actually accidentally eat it. I was going to use a piece of this little that this little green ribbon up the center, but I think I'll use some of this ivy up the center. I do want it to be like a belly band. I don't want it to be like a real skinny pocket. I want to be able to see the card coming out over here. Oh, that little daisy's going to peek out. I love daisies. I like sunflowers and daisies. And wildflower kind of girl. Roses are pretty, you know, but, um, you know, you can go to the store and get a rose. I want to go to the store and get a rose. <laughs> Just, I guess if you grow them in your yard, maybe. Maybe I would not scoff at them so much. Oh, how pretty. Wow, I almost don't even want to cover the lace. It's all right. We're not going to cover that much of it. Just the center. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Like I would say to Oz, pretty, pretty. Oh, I thought that was a hair or something. It's the paper. Now oh, is that crooked? It's this little scroll work here. It's throwing my eye off. And find out when we put the lace on it. I guess, won't we? Yes, I realize I'm putting acetate-based glue on acetate. It does. It will and can kind of melt it a little bit. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, yeah. That's going to be pretty. Just the right width. Wow. Oh. Wowie wow. Let's get it stuck down. Let's stick a pin in it. Don't have 30 minutes left. Wonder how hard it's going to be to find the end. <laughs> it's like a jungle in a bag. Well, there's a rubber band around it. I don't know that that helps. I do not know that that is helpful, especially as tight as they have it. Okay. So now what? Now how do we? Oh, there's another rubber band. Wow, is it long. Look at that. Holy moly, Batman. wonder if it's different pieces. 
That would be great. No, it's all one piece. Okay. Well, I, oh, oh, an end. <laughs> I don't know if it's what you would call the good end or the bad end. Wait till I go to unwind that or unblob that. Look, it's a giant, giant jungle. Now this stuff is so soft and I remembered where I got it now. I got it at, um, that is crooked. Careful now, I'm taking paper off. Put some fresh glue across there. All right, now. See, I can't move it too much. Much better. Okay. And then we'll run some of this down. Well, now how am I going to do that? I'd like to make it look natural instead of just stretching it out down the middle, but I don't know how to do the glue. I'm just going to have to do glue down the center and hope for the best. So much too, too much glue. Right there in that spot right there. Why did I lay the lace back or the ribbon back down on top of the other ribbon? I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't necessarily want it to be perfect. I don't want the leaves to stick up though. I got glue on the front of it. Poop. I've got some lace coming that's got little bitty flowers and they're pink in the center. So, um, yeah, let me trim this off. Okay, now this one, oh, needs to be glazed. This is what did I say it was? Page six. Mm -hmm. So this is page six. This is this is the top. <laughs> Just because that looks like it should be the top. Okay. We still have twenty minutes. 
to go before an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and um, get some stuff together and see if we can start. I'm going to let that dry. That turned out pretty. See if we can... Um, those little pink flowers dotted along there would be really pretty, though. We'll see. Um, and, and get something started for page 7 on the end of this video. And that way we'll be, we'll be ahead. Well, we won't be ahead. Well, yeah, we will because we've got the cover pretty much done. All right, so let me get that stuff together while I'm cleaning this up, wasting time. And um, we'll be right back after this commercial break. So now we've got page 7 and page 8, and we should be able to get these done uh, because they're super simple. Um, <laughs> to borrow a phrase from uh, Pink Monarch. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to make stair step pockets just like this. Oopsie. And that's why I didn't ink the center here. You see I inked the top to there and then up and then up and then up and then up. The opposite side is going to have the opposite thing. Now I know it would look cooler if they were switched around and it was stair step down. The problem is that it puts well, it isn't that thick, though. It puts the thickness in the center of the book when you do it that way. The pages we've done so far are like monsters. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do it like this. So the first thing we're going to do, and if we don't get completely done gluing, which I'm not really sure how we wouldn't, um, I'm just going to go ahead and put this one on. And I'm going to glue the outside edge here and the bottom edge here. So they're actually going to be tucks. Okay. And I had to use my scallopy scissors to do these. So they are not perfect by any means, and that's why they don't uh, fit together like a jigsaw puzzle, you know, right here. And I glazed every one of these little guys, and so that's why they're a little wonky. There's just no way around it, really. Okay, and then this one, let's see if I can bend it down just a little bit. We're just going to do the outside edge, and that's all. Otherwise, you're going to glue it shut right there. And we're going to line it up the best we can. Which means that we need to push this up a little bit. I'm going by the edge of the paper. That's better. So they're never going to mesh right here, is what I'm saying. Okay, and then we're just going to do the opposite on the other side. And then I'll show you what we've got so far with the other ones. I've been putting lace and ribbon on until my eyes crossed. <laughs> the reason I'm leaving this in from the edge a little bit is I'm thinking about putting lace all the way up the outside edges and I don't want to cover up this image so I'm leaving enough room so that 
the lace will come up to here. The lace is pretty wide. I, I ran out of narrow lace. So we're doing what we can. Now the last time I did one of these it turned into a monster um, as far as thickness. So we really may, unless we want a huge book, um, only do two signatures. We're definitely going to have to look at our time. That definitely doesn't look as good as I thought it would. You know what we should have done? What if I had overlapped them a little bit? There's no real way to glue them together ahead of time. That would have been the best option without overlapping it quite a bit. And I don't think that would have looked as good. I don't know though. This isn't looking very spiffy to me. We can put a piece of ribbon across here and cover that up and then put a piece of ribbon across there even though we don't need to. That's a good idea. And we'll stair step the ribbon. And that will help hold this down as well. Let's take a look and see. We can take this ribbon. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. See how well that covers that up? It makes it look much better. Okay, so I'll do that. So then I'll show you this real quick. These are still a little, a little tacky. So I'm not going to um, put them where they're on top of each other. is page seven because they look and act like they're dry but if they touch each other they stick together that's what I figured out about that very first page is they look dry but they're not they need to cure so Here's what we have so far, is we have our envelope stack, and I'm still working on, um, I don't, ha oh, I need to do this. I didn't realize I had it ready for the cover. Um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that. So we've got our envelope stack. Then we've got page one. And I put the fairies and the eyelash trim and the lace and the ribbon on. And I still need to put something in the pockets. Uh-oh. See? I thought I had enough glue just gluing the ribbon down. I mean the lace down I did on most. No big whoop. Caught it in time. Alright, so we've got... The reason I didn't put this at the bottom is because I didn't really like the idea of the two laces, you know, right on top of each other. Plus, the um, pockets then look naked. So, we've got it at the bottom on the front, on the pocket on the back, on the bottom on the front, and on the pocket on the back. Now we're going to have to do something. But I'm trying to not. Did I miss those? No I got them. Um, all of the flowers have been uh, glazed in the birds. All of these flowers are these flowers. These and the little fairy. I keep wanting to say angel. And then the fairies on the front. Then we have page two, which was our stack with the uh, 
right. And then we had page two, and I got the cards in this. So we have a card here, card here, card here, and then a big one here. And I've got a tab on it, and I've got a um, bulb pen, pin, bulb pin on there waiting for a charm. Um, I've got some gold charms, but the ones I want to use are ones that have like butterflies and this and that on them. And I've got those ordered as well. And they haven't got here yet. So um, we may end up with just um, the bulb pins um, without the charms even during the flip through, which is going to make me mad. So we'll see. I may wait and film the flip through till right before I'm going to um, upload these. And that will be enough time for them to get here, I'm sure. So we've got that. And then we have this page, which isn't thick at all. And I've inked around all the words. I glued the eyelash trim on. Some better than others. Um, I got a little better at it as I went along. This is page six. So I got a lot better at it by the time I did this one. Um... And so, yeah, and then we've got the ivy here. And um, once again, I have those little uh, florets, the lace that has the little, I don't know what you call those. I knew i knew what they were called before I came on camera. Um, and I'm thinking about gluing a few of those on here. I really like just having the vine. Okay, and then we're going to, we've got two coffee dyed papers in between there. And the file folder in between there. And then um, and then we have these two at the end. So that's what we've got so far. I think we're doing pretty good. Um, we'll get that I'll get that ribbon put on here. And then um, I'm not sure if I want to the problem is that this is all I have of that lace. Now that looks like a lot. The last time I did a book like this with lace. I used up the entire roll. Now we do have this lace that I'm going to try to use as well in the wide areas. Now if that pocket, that acetate pocket back here, if this one hadn't been in the middle of a bunch of other ones that were the other lace and needed the ribbon and the lace, um, this pocket is too tall, definitely. Um, but anyway, I would have just put the lace across the center. I guess I could have with the ribbon. I guess there's no reason I couldn't have. But I thought it might look funny with this rose lace by itself over here. So that's why I opted to do that. So we do have that other lace. It's almost, they come together. You can get like this roll of 10 or this package of 10 rolls of lace on Amazon for inexpensive. But the problem is, is that you end up using the narrow laces a lot quicker. And so you, you run out. So then you have to order more. So then you end up with more of the larger ones together. So, all right, well, I'm going to run that lace and then... Um, a ribbon and then I'm going to run the lace up the outside edges to kind of finish it off otherwise it would just be those bare edges right there so I'll run the lace all the way down and I'll run the ribbons across and then that's what we'll do for that okay all right well that's all for this video and I'll see you in the next video and that will be just a second for you and a day for me okay bye bye